Yeah. There's too much light. My blessed mess forsaken. These fairy tales are just dreams. Try a lifeless dream. How do them make? How craft them dark? Make them grim. That's my hallmark. My guts fill up with pretty tales. Their prissy cuteness never fails to make me puke. To lose my wits. To cut my teeth and give me fits. Now the rents is stale and foul. Despise the happy ending. Gross and nasty make me howl. Though they may be offending. I hear the tales of night. Fear and woe break at the night. I aim to look. When their thirteenth child plops out, and the hapless parents don't even take a pledge of abstinence, they've apparently abandoned good judgment along with restraint. They hope a godfather may ameliorate their folly. Nonsense! Back directly, Mother. I'll just step out and find a godparent to help raise our new boy. Right. Any other man would be contemplating a permanent exit. And who could blame him? Poor Randy Sod. Hurry home, dear. The babies need burping. Now here's undeserved luck. Looking for a godparent, this moat finds God! No offence, God, but you can't be godfather to my son. You give to the rich while the poor starve. Bloody hell! He thinks there's a better godfather than God! wonder what God thinks about it. Well, he's on a roll. I believe the operative verse is, Seek and ye shall find. But this is ridiculous. Uh, are you? I am. Take me as your child's godfather. I will give him all the joys of the world. No offense, Beelzebub, but you can't be my son's godfather. You deceive us and lead us astray. Equal time and treatment to the champions of good and evil, I suppose. Neither has much reason to complain. But who's next? Why, it's death. And the horse he rode up on. Make me your child's godfather. To me, everyone is equal. I will care for him. Don't know death. You treat the rich and poor alike. You shall be my child's godfather. Not the only criterion on which to base the decision, but probably not the worst. The boy grew up without incident or remarkable event, and when he had come of age, his macabre godparent charted his future and introduced him to a miraculous herb. Godson, you will become a physician to the rich and famous. But I have no training. No matter. As I am visible only to you, I'll indicate which of your patients will live and which will die. If I stand at their heads, give this herb, they will recover. But if I stand at their feet, they're mine. Death was as good as his word. His godson became rich and was later appointed the king's personal physician. But when the king's time had come, the godson was loath to let him die. Don't ever dare to betray me again. Yes, Godfather. King, as I have saved your life, I'd like to marry your daughter. She's very ill. Heal her, and you shall have her and my crown. Feeling better? Fine. I'm your doctor. We're getting married. Tomorrow good for you? I have no dress. I... Godson, you'll never disappoint me again. Come along. Now, a more perspicacious being would have seen Death's declaration for the lethal guarantee it was. I'll get back to you. He lied, of course. But what did he know? He wouldn't be getting back to anyone above ground. Oh, 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 this doesn't look good. Candles snuffed out, Death 
giving a guided tour of the underworld? Symbolism's a bit too clear. I might have cursed the darkness and let it go at that. These candles are the life lights of every living being. A long candle foretells a long life, and the opposite is true, too. Here is yours. This little stump is about to go out. Light a new one for me. One must go out before a new one is lit. But because you are my godson, I'll try a trick. It's against the rules. Thank you, Godfather Jeff. You saved me. Almost anything for you. Was the physician fated for an early death? Or was his premature demise a punishment? The storyteller doesn't say. But without an answer, the tale is a muddle of unhappy accidents. Death was chosen as Godfather. And God's not offended at being passed over? The devil takes no for an answer. That would be a first. And then all-powerful death, the great leveler, pretends he's going to spare his witless godson. I don't think so. If you agree, play on. Not so very long ago, when ignorance was more common, if less forgiving than now, an abjectly poor woman presented her willfully stupid husband with their thirteenth and least wanted child. Make it rotten! Let's move! Discriminant breeder seeks a godfather to support his latest spawn. He decides that God isn't up to the job. And, according to me, God doesn't take rejection well. Make it nasty. Let's move. Thank <laughs> you. 
Declares him lacking. What's with the nuns? Make it repulsive. Let's move. What he can't refuse. Death. Who better for a godfather? I should have asked God why he thought this dolt should go forth and multiply. This environment doesn't suit our bony friend. Let's cool it down. Make it vile. Let's move.
A statue. Is that bird do? No. Hmm. Oh, what's happening? Oh. <clears throat> so, Death instructed his godson in the herb's magical properties and followed up with a stern admonition concerning its misuse. Considering this dolt's lineage, what were the chances he'd heed the warning? I prefer my herbs carnivorous. Make it smelly. Oh, <laughs> 
rotten. Don't delay, but stomp away! application of the magic herb. Death is pissed. It's a pity to anger him when the royal person looks merely feverish. Let's make this treachery worth the wrath. Get sicker, king! Make it foul! Thank <laughs> you. 
now. I Princess got the plague, and probably got it from Dad. The gods unpredictably used the herb to save her, contrary to Death's command. The princess lived, but the godson's history. Can't wait for this dunce to be dead. Make it putrid. Don't delay, but stomp away! Sure, he takes a few innocents along for the ride. Make it vile. seems to be nine. Let's make it morbid. Make it foul. Let's move. Thank <laughs> you. 
after he disobeys and insults death, the dope pleads with him to relight his candle and spare his life. Please, death, end it now and let's make it messy. Make it disgusting.
can stop him, but he can good. <laughs> ah, death, you're too kind. Take this fool to Hades. He's kicked the bucket, given up the ghost. In short, he snuffed it. And his maker passed away, passed over, passed out, passed gas. Gone. <laughs> Enough. Better the silly sod had exposed the child, or thrown himself under the nearest ox cart to celebrate the birth. Who but a cowardly idiot wouldn't prefer extinction to utter hopelessness? Cheap death? I don't think so. A painful stent of suffering, misery, and death all round. Serve them right. Forgive me, Lord. I haven't been a bad man. Just imprudent. Presumably, another word for obtuse or oversexed, or both. Stop whining and mind the brats, you licentious old goat. The nappies are filthy. I'll take poison before asking for a favor, God. Each time before I've begged for your help, I might as well have asked a cat. For some small consideration, I could persuade one of those nuns to break her vows. You miserable tempter! Times I've offered you up my soul and services for a little money. What did I get? Nothing! A sneer and a puff of smelly smoke. You won't be my son's godfather. I've already rejected God for the job. You randy wretch. I'll take the boy as my apprentice, and I'll mark you for death. It's a good day to die, and the world will not miss you. Oh no, death! Take the boy, but put me down for another day! Cowards and fools die often, but your time is near enough. So death introduced his new assistant to the finer points of his craft. I'm about to get busy. Plague is coming. Millions will perish, you will help me. Never question me, never contradict me. If you disobey, you will suffer. Swear to it. I do, Godfather. This isn't as much fun as it looks. There's the drudgery, the smell, and a lot of moaning. And all not for immediate demise. They've already begun to stink. Get to work. All right, except for this one. I want to save her, Godfather. It cannot be. Her story has been written. It is finished. All creatures have a time. Hers has come. Do not resist it. I must. She's a princess. She can make me some money. If I clean her up a bit, heal the oozing sores, make her some teeth, find a wig, you know. It almost saddens me that you don't have the brains of an ant. You're done here. What are we doing here, Godfather? Are you really that dim? You've come to die, and I'm here to bear witness and settle a score. You swore a vow and broke it. But I'm your godson. As if that could make a difference. All beings owe a debt to me. Your payment is suddenly due. doesn't know that it's dangerous to break faith with the Godfather. The doctor's overweening ambition and lack of judgment showed his true parentage. Death may be heartless, but he's fair, and he does know how to keep a promise. May all our stories end so well. Until next time. <laughs>